What's up, family? Marcus here with MTGEpic.com, and I'm here to open a sealed box of Modern Masters 2015. By now, you should have already watched Fat Pack Friday episode 14, and holy crap, what a finish. Amazing. I am very stoked to be able to do this for your viewing enjoyment, and uh, let's get right into the frickin' unboxing of this great set, shall we? Uh, I know a lot of people are disappointed, actually, that this set isn't as good as the last or better than the last Modern Masters. However, I am not one of those individuals. I am very excited about this. Uh, and if you need boxes or packs, please get a hold of me because I have plenty for you and your friends, so give me a ring-a-ling-ding-ding. -ding. All right, so here's the box. Nice, cool. Remember, there's a foil in every pack. <laughs> I can smell the aura of Tarmogoyth. What's that? Is he foil? I don't know. Maybe so. Okay. Well, that looks freaking sweet. I'm very excited for this. Now, these are actually boxes and not packs, so you'll rip these right on off. And here we go. Pack number one. Oh. Okay. Burst Lightning, Blinding Soul Eater, Wax Mane Baku, Grim Affliction, Helium Squirter, Conclave Phalanx, Commune with Nature, Inner Flame Igniter, Flare Husk, Sign in Blood, First Uncommon is Devouring Greed, Air Servant, Last Uncommon Restless Apparition, and our rare is a Chimeric Mass, and our foil is a Steady Progress, which actually looks like it's in awful condition. Looks like someone took it and just slid it across a wooden table. So if this was a Tarmogoyf, that would be very bad. But remember, you guys, if you want to know what happens when you open up a damage card or um, any card that is not in mint condition from your pack, as long as you have your receipt, you can return that. And if you'd like to find out, click here, right there, and it'll take you to one of my videos where I actually opened a damaged Ugin and we got him back in mint condition after sending him into the return um, policy that Wizards of the Coast has. So let's get right into the second pack. We're going to do the commons and uncommons and rares and foils for the first, say, 10 packs. And then we will go to just the uncommons and the good stuff. All right, here we go. Sunlance, Rampant Growth, Aether Snipe, Skyhunter Skirmisher, Blood... Th Blood Throne Vampire, Telling Time, Vashino Slaughtermaster, Sundering Vita, if I say these wrong, I'm sorry, Rusted Relic, Alloy Myrrh, uh, Bloodshot Trainee is our first uncommon, Spectral Procession, uh, Necrogenesis, and a Mystic Snake. And our foil is a Soul Bright Flamekin. Well, thanks for that. So far, not so good. But we can't get worse than that. Here we go. Nameless Inversion, Copper Carapace, Vampire Lacerator. Man, I'm having some focusing issues here. Let's see if I move this out of the way, if it helps any. Vampire, Lacerator, Aether Snipe, Raise the Alarm, Scuttling Death, Goblin Fire Slinger, uh, Tuck -a Tongue Thalid, Smash to Smithereens, Ruined Servitor, uh, Scavenger Drake, is our first uncommon, I do believe, yep, it, Allergy, Gyrol, Ashenmore, Gouger, and a Surgical Extraction with a Foil Rampant Growth, which is actually pretty sweet. This is our best pack so far, actually. 
Remember guys, if you need any of these singles, hit me up, mtgepic.com. Look at our singles and the set that you need your singles from, or you can just use the search engine on the top right of the website and find which cards you need. Digging right in, we've got Sign of the Wild, Tribal Flames, Nameless Inversion, Steady Progress, and Court Homunculus, Dusk Hunter Bat, Goblin Fire Slinger, Gnarled Pack, Olamog Crusher, Frogmite, Boros Garrison is our first uncommon, and there's a Bielefeld Tapped, uh, and there's a Battlefield Return a Land, you control to its owner's hand, I don't like that. Um, Carpolusion Strider. Actually, this would be really good in my Valakit deck. Oh, uh, maybe not. Yeah, because it's not a mountain at all. Uh, our rare is a Drooling Gudeon with a Spike Shot Elder. Oh, I'm sorry. Spike Shot Elders are rare, and then Wings of Velis Vale is our foil. Nothing to be completely excited about yet, other than the fact that we have 16 boxes. Of course, some of those are already sold, and I will be shipping those out later this evening. So if you had pre-ordered a box of Modern Masters 15 from mtgepic.com, it will be shipped today. Thummingbird, Scatter the Seeds, Narcolepsy, Otherworldly Journey, Bone Splinters, Telling Time, Thrive, Blades of Velis Vel, Sphere of the Suns, Sick Less, Sick? Less Lisser. Okay, sorry if I brutaled that one. Uh, Expedition Map, Hikari Twilight Guardian, Electrolyze, Indomitable Archangel, and Kavu Primark is our foil. Um, anytime I see a foil and it's green, I'm going to get a little bit excited, but, you know, can't expect too much because I might have epic pulls here at MTG Epic, but I doubt I'm going to be getting a foil Tarmogoyf, even if I can open, like, ten boxes. Arrest, Causalex, Predator, Mighty Leap, Dusk Hunter Bat, uh, Thoughtcast, Waxmane Baku, Brute Force, Gnarled Pack, Rusted Relic, uh, Cathodion, uh, Izet Boiler Works, uh, Gladust Hulk, Dismember, which is really good, and an Etch Mon uh, Monstrosity. Am I saying that right? Yeah, I am. And our foil rare is a wildfire. Yikes. Etched Monstrosity. I oh I was I've been reading that card wrong for years because I thought it was Etch Monastery. <laughs> Glad to know that I had that wrong. And that's a really good card too. So no mythics yet. We just got a first foil rare, and I'm not too excited about it to be honest with you. Um, I'm going to just for fun look it up really quick uh, to see what that foil is and it's only like two bucks so yeah that's not good we're gonna go ahead and start skipping the commons go to the uncommons here we've got a uh, remand which is really really great the best uncommon in this set savage twister a du uh, dark steel axe and a scoot mob and a foil copper carapace and quick story i actually once traded a scoot mob when it was in standard play i traded a scoot mob for a foil Arid Mesa. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I got the Arid Mesa. I think I got the better end of that deal. <clears throat> Come on. Where are the Mythics at? There are Mythics in this set, right? I think we're about to get one. Statistically speaking. Uh, Algae Garial. Vengeful Rebirth. Simic Growth Chamber. And an uh, Apocalypse Hydra. And a foil Lightning Bolt. That's what I'm talking about. Hit it up. That's a that's a good pull there. I'm really excited about that. Um, since I already have this stuff pulled up for foils, I'm just gonna look this up really quick because I'm I'm legitimately interested. And lightning bolt foil is actually ten bucks. Um, well, it's probably less on TCG Player. So remember, guys, I price match. So if you need that foil lightning bolt, and you need it in your life, and you find it on TCG Player mid range for say seven fifty, and I have it for eight fifty. 
Just shoot me an email or a message or Twitter, whatever you got to do to get a hold of me and let me know the price difference and I will change it for you. Ooh, a mana leak. Very cool. Nothing wrong with getting a little mana leak. Let's get a Dispatch, a Bloodshot Trainee, a Palaka Worm, a Banefire, and a Sphere of the Suns is our foil. Dum -da -da -da. Still no Mythics, still no Mythics. Let's see, what do we got here? What do we got left in here? This box is actually, since it's like angled, it kind of tricks your mind a little bit. It makes you think like you don't have very, very many packs left, but really we, we've got a good amount here. So let's get rid of our box, get that out of the way. I think we're going to have better focusing if we do this. All right, here we go. Come on, Mythic. Come on, Mythic. All right, here we go. A Demir Aqueduct, a Wrecking Ball, an Oblivion Ring, which is really cool. And Noble High Arc, nice pull and a Gust Skimmer foil. Noble High Arc is our best pull so far. And the value on this the other day, if I remember right, it was like in the 40s. But um, this stuff changes so freaking much, it is hard to tell. But it's going to be around, let's see here. I know a lot of you are interested in these prices on the day that it opens and then look again in a week. Um, the Noble Hierarch, though, is 42-ish, uh, probably a little less on TCG Player. So, yeah, we've got one now. If you need one, let me know. All these are for sale. Why not open them on the YouTube channel and put them up on the mtgepic.com website. So our best pull so far is our Noble Hierarch. We also got a Foil Lightning Bolt, which is really nice. All right, a right, little Soul Stoke, a Bestial Menace a Sigil Blessing, and an Eye of Ugin. And a foil is at Boilerworks. Eye of Ugin is probably getting our money's worth back out of this said pack. <clears throat> Still no Mythic. Um, I'm going to guess there's like an average of two and a half Mythics. And no, I don't mean that one's ripped in half. I mean that if you open two boxes, I think you'll end up having five Mythics. But that's another guess. Just a guess. Darksteel Citadel, Azarius uh, Chancery, a Cytoplast Rootkin, a Ethercast Knight, or yeah, Ethercast Knight, a Mirror Entity. Oh, 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 oh. did that just happen? Yes, it did. That just happened. We got a foil. Tezzeret the Seeker. I am going to have to take a picture of this right now and put it on the Twitter. If you are not following us on Twitter, I really think you should. Uh, it is at MTG Epic, and I am going to have to look this guy up. Uh, Tezzeret the Seeker foil, 35 bucks. Not bad. Uh, it's probably going to go down since this is release day, but hey, that is awesome. Could have. You know what, I'm just going to sleeve this up right now to avoid any further issues. I've got multiple sleeves at hand here. Let's put them in a nice pretty blue one. Look at that, guys. Look at that. That will be going up on the website. Very nice pull. We have had our foil mythic. Got it. And the second half. And, uh, yeah, that kind of got my heart going just a tad bit, a tit bit, and uh, let's dig right into the next pack. I'm going to send out this tweet. Um, yeah, that happened, guys. Here we go. Next pack. So our first mythic is a foil mythic, <laughs> and uh, luckily not a uh, crappy storm. So let's hope to get a regular mythic now. Let's hope for hoping. First uncommon from this pack is a mutagen mutagenic growth, oblivion ring, and electrolyze, and a Mirren Crusader and a foil mirror enforcer. Alright, digging in. 
Dig it in. Trying to get that Tarmogoyf. If we can get a Tarmogoyf and a foil Tezzeret in the same box, I might just stop opening. Yeah. Is that Boiler Works? Water Servant. Ashmore Gow Gorger. Gouger. We've got a foil. Ah, darn it. Um, our rare is Suraker Spellblade. And a Matka Rioters is our foil. Here we are. Here we are. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Trying to get a mythic. Tajnar Swordsmith. Expedition Map. Evolving Everflowing Chalice. And a Profane Command. And a Foil Palaka Worm. Quite vanilla. Where is our regular mythic? It's got to be here, like, really soon. We've only gotten one remand. Speaking of remand. Oh, da, da, da. Take a foil remand. Um, Navision Sages. A World Heart Phoenix. A Culling Deus. A Midnight Banshee is our rare. And a Gorehorn Minotaurs is our foil. So... This is a little odd. We did get a really, really nice pull. We did get our Noble High Arch. So we've got some value here. We have not yet made our money back, which I don't expect to do. But if we can turn this pack into a Tarmogoyf, we would have absolutely done so. Stormblood Berserker, Shured Hatchling, Tumble Magnet, and a Fulminator Mage. And an Instill Infection is our foil. Still no regular mythic, and I'm starting to feel, well, more anxious uh, at each pack. All right, let's give us at least another remand in here. Uh, Scavenger Drake, a Slesnia Guild Mage, a Rakdos Canarium. A Spell Skite, which is a good pull, and a Sickle Ripper is our foil. So I like that Spell Skite. Um, nice pull. Okay, well, we've gotten one Mythic. It was foil, so we've gotten no Mythics in the Mythic slot. We have six packs left. I would have to imagine that one of these has a Mythic in it. And if not, then the set is already broken. Here we go. Uncommon shall be Novigen Sages, Vampire Outcasts, Lightning Bolt, our first regular Lightning Bolt, I think. A Inexorable Tide and a Aether Snipe Foil. So that definitely was not the pack that I was talking about being our foil. Or I'm sorry, not foil, but uh, our re regular Mythic. Not sure if I like the whole cardboard box thing for the packs. Not sure I like it at all. But hey, here we are. Demir Aqueduct. Artisan of Kozilek. Good pull. Darksteel Axe. And a Shadow Mage Infiltrator. And a Foil Scavenger Drake. What is going on with the Mythics here? Again, I don't want you to think I'm complaining because we did get a Foil Tezzeret. But... These boxes are over $200, so there should definitely be a regular Mythic in here somewhere, I would assume. I would have to assume. Alright, Golgari Rot Farm, a Orzov Basilica, a lore scale Kotal and a Wilt Leaf Liege and a Foil Fortify. What the fudge? Okay, well, if you guys did not buy any Modern Masters and you're watching this, you're living vicariously through me, right? Uh, you might not want to purchase one now after seeing this if we don't get a regular Mythic. I really hope we can pull one because that's really disappointing. Um, Mearsmith, Etched Oracle, Fal Flaxcaster, Frogling, 
and a Kiki Jiki. So we did get our Mythic and a Necrogenesis. So we did get a Kiki Jiki. Um, it's you know it's a good it's it's not Comet Storm. So um, that's a that's a plus because uh, that would be an absolute disaster. Kiki Jiki is less than twenty bucks. Um, so I'm not really excited about him being my Mythic. Um, here's hope for hoping that we can get one more, get really lucky here. I'm not holding my breath, but I'm, I'm kind of thinking that we're only going to get that one regular in the, with that one foil. Uh, Overwhelm, Resembling Skeleton, Borrows Swift Blade, oh, Emrakul, you sneaky little bastard. Emrakul, the Aeon's Torn, get in my modern deck. That's right, get in my modern deck. Alright, I feel much better now. All of you have to feel better now. Um, okay, we got Emrakul and a Kiki Jiki and a Foil Tezzeret. This box, I feel like maybe it was definitely, no, not maybe. I think that we've got our value almost back. If we can hit again, we're definitely in the green. Um, we're probably borderline breaking even on this box, but I'm really happy with the pulls. No Comet Storm, which is great. Having a foil mythic in the first uh, box that I opened is just absolutely amazing. Uh, oh, and the Tarmogoyf! Get out of town! Woo! Look at the value in the last pack of the box! Oh my god! Holy shit! Everyone, get in! Get in! Whoa! Holy shit! That just happened! Okay... Uh, yeah, um... I'm shaking. I did not see that coming. I did not see that coming at all. Emrakul... Kiki Jiki, Emrakul, and then... Oh my god! Oh my god! Were those in a row? Were those in a row? They were in a row! Oh my god! This happened! Oh, guys, look at this. Oh, my God. Look at this. Look at that. Would you look at that? Would you look at it? Just look at it. I am so spellbound, like Lacuna Coy would say. I am spellbound, and we pulled value. We pulled value had to tweet that out that's kind of a big tweet right there that's a big boy tweet all right that is a big boy tweet we got a freaking tarmogoyf the first time we've ever opened one without having to pay to get one we opened one all right guys we hit our value back here's 160 195 here's another 40 or so so 100 and 230 another 20 260 and then our normal high arc we got over 300 dollars in value guys over three hundred dollars in value out of our first freaking box uh... get in get in mtgepic.com i'm marcus if you need any of these cards i will get them up as soon as i can please hit me up on twitch while we do giveaways all the time it is twitch.tv slash mtgepic i'm sorry i'm so excited but holy crap look at this spread guys get in last packs Last three packs, Kiki Jiki, Emrakul, Tarmogoyf. Holy shit, we thought we were going to get one Mythic in this box, and we got four, one of them being, one of them being foil. I'm Marcus with MTGEpic.com, and I, after 24 minutes, I'm out.